Mr. Vice Chairman Sir I rise to lend support to the resolution moved by my friend with full heart work it is very correct that the present legal system of india is not an effective instrument of social change as it is not a very effective instrument of social change naturally it cannot provide social economic justice to the weaker sections of people to the under privileged people who form the majority in india sir we all know that the old order change yielding place to new change is the only unchanging thing in this constantly changing universe it is not a very happy thing that although we attained independence in 1947 till today we are guided by anglo jurisdiction we all know that india is a socialist country and goal of socialism has also been embedded in our constitution can you achieve this socialistic goal through the present legal system this is my question i am sure none can give an affirmative answer it is a very common complaint among the poor sections of the people of india the down trodden masses the toiling masses the people who cannot pay for costly litigation that they are very scared of going to the court first they are ignorant then they have no money they are very poor the court of law for them is a sort of jigsaw puzzle whenever they go to a court to fight out a case for the redressal of their grievances they always have the psychological fear what is that fear what is the use of going to the court if i go to the court to fight out a case for it will take 3 years to 10 years or maybe 20 years who knows so this inordinate delay in the dispensation of justice is a great hurdle for the poor people who cannot fight our costly cases and even when they go to the court the poorer sections of people have to pay high fees to the lawyers in the process they lose all their property lock stock and barrel and whatever they already have there is a very interesting story two poor people were fighting out a case in the court over land they had been paying fees to the lawyers for a long time if a man gets justice after 20 years what is the use of this the most important of these provisions is the amendment of section 34 of the income tax act by which powers are being taken in certain circumstances and 
with certain safeguards to reopen past cases of tax evasion since the end of the second world war in the budget speech the finance minister has traced the developments leading to this provision and i have already explained about the judgment of the supreme court which has necessitated certain changes in the income tax act and therefore all i need say at this stage is that while every possible care would be taken to ensure that there is no undue harassment to the honest tax payer we are determined to collect the legitimate dues of the government as i have often said before it is our intention not to collect a rupee more and equally not to collect a rupee less in this category of provisions should also be included the powers proposed for search and seizure of documents and for obtaining information from banks the tax on registered firms will also assist in checking a form of legal tax avoidance by which hindu undivided families create partitions whole or partial on paper and then function as registered firms in our budget estimates credit has been taken off the recoveries due on account of these cases of tax evasion in excises only three major proposals have been made these are an additional duty of 6 paise per square meter on all categories of cotton fabrics except coarse dhotis and sarees a new duty of 6 paisa per lb on vegetable non essential oils a duty of 25 paisa per gallon on diesel and vaporizing oil and of 15 paisa per gallon on industrial fuel oils the duties on diesel and fuel oils are really not on fresh imports they are mainly in substitution of import duties of about an equal order the revenue from which is being lost by total replacement of imports by indigenous production at the new refineries in bombay the house would be aware that since these proposals were first announced on the 20th february 1956 we have reduced the duty on cotton and seed oil to one half namely from 6 paisa to 3 paisa per lb by way of a substantial incentive to the better and greater utilization of cotton seed a considerable proportion of the oil